Hey kids, welcome to Haven's Magical Hutch today. We have decided to do something a little bit different. We're going to do kind of a little, um, oh, something a little different. We're going to do kind of a little uh, fun activity with beaker creatures. Uh, and what these are is these have a bunch of little creatures hidden inside of a ball. And in that ball, you dissolve it in water. And once you dissolve it in water, a magical creature appears, okay? And these are series one, all right? So this is really fascinating. So we're gonna try this today, and you guys are going to have a lot of fun with us, all right? So let's get started. We're gonna open up this one first, okay? Here we go. There, oh, see, look at that. Ooh, it's purple. That's pretty. Okay, so see, looks like a little egg, a little purple egg. So we're gonna put this in the water. We're gonna start here. We're gonna see what it does. Ooh, ooh it's dissolving. There we go. All right. So while it's doing that, let's go over here. Let's see here. It has all kinds of little things here for your beaker creatures. Comes with a nice little insert. And let's see. Here. Little things. Some different things about different creatures here. So we will see what this is. Okay, all right, so while we're waiting for the purple, let's go ahead and see what else we've got here. That way, while we're waiting for the purple to dissolve, we can just move on with our fun. Okay, so we're gonna try the next one. This is another Beaker Creatures. All right, so let's see what color it is. Ooh, it's green, awesome. Okay, so we're gonna try the green one. Okay, like a green little egg. We're gonna put it back here. Okay, we're gonna let it start doing its thing. All right. So, and it also comes with another little insert here. And um, all kinds of different things. Okay, you have a little insert and you can open it up and it asks you questions and um, all that sort of thing. Okay, so you have to take a little quiz on here. So, and that's just what it looks like. So we'll see what happens with this one. All right. Okay, so the green one's going real fast. So we're gonna go ahead and do another one of these while we're waiting. And this one, I'm gonna move this one just a little bit more so it kinda of gets a little more water in there. So you wanna keep them dissolving because the green one's doing a great job for us. Okay, so here's another one. Oh, this is another purple, all right. So we're gonna put this purple one, we're gonna put it in a little egg, a little surprises for us, back here. All right. And you've already seen the inserts and stuff with that. Um, okay, so we're going to go back to, well that one's, that one's doing a great job. So you wanna make sure to have plenty of water in there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do this one. This is our last one. Let's go ahead and see. Maybe we have a color we don't have. Let's see. Ooh, it's pink. All right, Let's take out those. Okay, so again, another pink little egg, okay? And we're just gonna plop that right here in this one. We can watch it real good. All right, there we go. All right, so we've got all four of these going. We're gonna check on this purple one and see if that works. So let's go ahead and we're gonna get our hands dirty. Some of you will love this and some of you will not, but 
you know what? In the name of science, we're just going to, in curiosity, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves, okay, here you go. Here's what it looks like. All right, it's in a little uh, ball here. Now, you need to have a handy dandy paper towel nearby, which is what um, we've got. Okay, do this. All right, now, let's see what we got. You gotta squeeze these things. Here we go. And what's going to emerge? Woo, look at that. All right, now this one, is called a flurry. Okay, so this one is a flurry. And let's see here. So yeah, this one is a flurry from Frostonian. They love the cold. Meet other cold loving creatures. Okay, and then it has the tiny tardigrades can live in colder temperatures than almost any other animal. How low can they go? All right, so here you go. Let's see. Um, which one do you guys think? A, B, or C? Which one do you think it is? Mm, C, right? Negative to negative 450 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty cold. Um, okay, Arctic foxes love the cold so much. They're the only mammal native to which chilly country? Is that Iceland? That's Iceland, right? Okay, next one. A reindeer's nose is a special adaptation that helps during cold winters. How does a reindeer's nose fight the cold? All right, it helps them conserve heat, right? So they stay warm because of their nose. That's fun. Okay, the Arctic ground squirrel spends most of the fall and winter hibernating in a cozy burrow. In what month do they usually wake up? April, right? B, because that's when all of the, the uh, harsh weather is usually done, right? All right, so we're learning all that kind of stuff, and here is a flurry. And this is what they look like, okay? All right, so now we're going to move on to our next one. I'm going to put Mr. Flurry uh, with his stuff. We're just going to put Mr. Flurry over here. I don't know. We'll put him over here. Then we're going to go to our next one. Okay, like I said, some of you are going to love getting your hands dirty. Some of you will not. That's okay. Just a little bit. And again, we have a nice little paper towel. It's gonna help with all the mess. That way moms and dads don't need to work. All right, look at that. Now, we're gonna get our handy dandy little paper here. And this is a, let's see here. This is a twinkle. All right. So, we'll go through all of it. Okay, so this is a twinkle here, and they are from space. This is here, this is their astronauts. Let's see. For astrolytes quiz. So there are astronauts living in space right now aboard the ISS, the International Space Station. What is the record for most time spent in space? Oh my goodness, you guys, that's 879 days. That is a long, long time. Okay, number two. Thanks to the iron in its soil, the closest planet to Earth goes by the nickname the Red Planet. What is that planet's proper name? And some of you are going to know this already. That's right, it's Mars. You guys are so smart. Okay, so ancient civilizations, number three, connected bright stars in the sky to draw pictures and patterns. What are these celestial images called? They are called constellations, right? Awesome. And number four, the last one. We live in the Milky Way galaxy. 
but we also have neighboring galaxies in our part of the universe. What large galaxy is closest to the Milky Way? Some of you know this one too. That's right, it's A, Andromeda. The Andromeda galaxy is the closest to us, okay? So here is this that goes with our twin. All right, so we're gonna put him back here. Okay, he's gonna go buy his bowl. Okay, so now we're gonna see. All right, so now we're gonna go back to our purple one up here. We'll get this one, we'll see what's in it. I think it might be the same one. So we might have a repeat one, but that is okay. They are no less lovable. Yep, it's the same one, so we've already gone over that one. So here you go, he is Flurry. This is Flurry again, in case you missed it the first time. We've already done his quiz and everything, so we're gonna go ahead and put him back over here at his bowl, okay? Then we're gonna go ahead and head to the red one over here. All right. Let's get this one cleaned off. This one is really foamy. All right. Ooh, this is different. What could it be? Okay, so this one is Stomper. He looks like a little dinosaur head. That's cute. All right. So there's Stomper. We're gonna put him right there real quick. And then we're gonna go to his quiz. Okay, so we have the little, his little meteor right here. All right, so there's that. Then we're gonna go to this one, to his little quiz. So we can do our education today. Okay, let's see here. Reptiles are small today, but they used to be a whole lot bigger, so this is a Minosaurus quiz, right? So let's see here. The Ankylosaurus defended itself with bony armor plates called osteoderms. What living animal also has armor just like this? You guys know this one. Number A, right? The alligator. Um, okay, that's awesome. You guys are smart. I knew you guys would know that one. Okay, number two, the Triceratops is named for the three horns that grew from the front of its head. What does the name Triceratops mean in ancient Greek? Some of you will know this just from uh, taking some Latin or just watching a lot of dinosaur shows. B, three-horned face, right? All right. Okay, number three, with its famous plates and tail spikes, the Stegosaurus is one of the world's most famous dinosaurs. When was the first Stegosaurus fossil discovered? Mm, this one might be a little tough, but it was B, 1877. So a very, very long time ago, right? That's when they were first discovered. Number four, the last one, the fearsome Utah Raptor. Utah, or Utah Raptor, you can say that however you want, is best known for the giant hook claws that rose from its feet. How long? was one, only one of these claws. See, right? Nine to 15 inches. That's really, really long. All right? So you guys did a good job. And we learned a lot of stuff and we got to open up some cute little creatures here. So I hope you guys had fun um, on our little science experiment and our little um, fun recreational stuff here. So uh, I hope you guys learned a lot today, and it was fun doing Haven's Magical Hive with you guys. So you guys go home, and don't forget, if you want to do this, now you know how to do it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, all right? We'll see you guys next week. Bye!